Hello and welcome to another DCSD On Demand video tutorial. This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District. In this tutorial I'm going to take you through the process of how to create an assignment in Edmodo and I'm also going to show you what it looks like from the student standpoint in, f in terms of turning in an assignment and then again from the teacher standpoint in terms of grading it. As you can see, I've logged into Edmodo and I've pulled up one of my groups, in this case my fictitious period one biology group. Up here in the notes field, you can see that I have the, assign the option of clicking on assignment. And I have this sample assignment down below already created so you can see a little bit more what it will look like when it's done. So let me click on assignment and I'll take you through the steps. The first thing that I want to mention is this load assignment button on the right. Now when I was first using Edmodo that was really confusing to me because I thought that that's where I would upload a file if I had an assignment that I wanted students to complete on that file. But really what it is, is if you have already created an assignment, as I have, you, within Edmodo you can just click on that and it will auto populate that field for you. This is awesome if you are teaching several sections of the same concept like several periods of biology or several sections of the same staff development course. You can just click load assignment, it'll pop it up there but then you set your new due date by clicking on the calendar. So I've done that. This is where you would enter the title if you didn't have that load assignment option. This is where you would type in the description if you were doing it from scratch. And then you'll see down below that I've attached several things so you get a, a sample of what that looks like. To attach a file, you just click on file and browse to your file and then it shows up like this with a little icon like in this case the PDF icon. Now the link option, you see there are two things down below that I created using that link option. The first one that looks like a chain link icon, that's where I actually pasted in a link to a Google presentation. The one below that's a greater than less than sign facing each other, that's where I have pasted in embed code. And that's really kind of a neat thing about Edmodo. Let me show you what that looks like when I click on link. You see here, if I paste in the link, say to a Google presentation, that's where um, I can just paste in the link straight and it will pull the title of the web page. Or if I have that embed code, I paste in the embed code, type in the title of the page myself and click attach. And they both display just slightly differently. I click the name of the group that I want to share that to and then say send and you'll see that it loads. Underneath I want to show you what that looks like now that I have created that so that you can see the difference between the embedding option and the linking. So here's my sample biology presentation that's linked. That's my Google presentation. You see a little preview of it here in this window. Um, but down below where I've pasted the embed code, you don't see it right away. You just see this little image that looks a little bit like Saturn. When you click on that, that's what brings up the embedded presentation below. So it's just a little step longer. Now I'm going to log out of me, log in as a student, and give you an idea what this looks like from the student side. This is why I recommend that you do create a student account, a dummy student account within your group so that you get to see what it looks like from both sides. So here the student sees, here's the assignment. When they want to turn it in, very confusingly, they click on the turn in button. And then it gives them a spot where they can attach, just like I did, something from their library, a link, or a file. In this case, since it's a Google presentation, I want to show you what that would look like. I want to make this as easy as possible for the teacher for grading. So over here I have the presentation. It's already been shared and made public, so I click on Share, Publish, Embed. And then you'll see that I get this embed code. I'm going to change it to maybe medium size. Highlight the embed code. Go back here to Edmodo. Click on the link button. Remember I can type in embed. And for title I might say sample students work. The embed code is pasted in above. I say attach and then I click turn in assignment. I'm going to log in now as a teacher again so that you can see what it looks like on that side but first I want to show you on the upper right hand side they have that waiting for grade option. So now for me in the spotlight area I see that I have one turned in assignment. I click on that. It brings up the kid, the assignment, it says gives me the kids comments then I can click on sample student work and because it was embedded it shows up down below I can go to that second slide where the student completed the work type in whatever I wanted to type about grading say post comment up at the top I can type in my default for the assignment so that's my out of score say how much this person got they did great hit grade 
and let me go to the student view. On the student side, I can click on New Grade and see how I did. Thank you for watching another DCSD on-demand video tutorial. This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District.